scariest moment ever would definitely be uh, probably Tahiti. Uh, a few years back, I ended up getting held under by almost two waves, and uh, the jet skis couldn't come in and get me. So that was pretty scary. I didn't really think I was going to get some air. Eventually, when I got on uh, one of the skis, it just felt like I was like a dead fish. Um, yeah, it was pretty life-threatening, but uh, yeah, luckily for the Tahitian Water Patrol, they kind of came to the rescue. If I had to take a vacation week without my surfboards, I'd probably go to Italy. I really uh, enjoy it there and I love the food. Um, yeah, and obviously big shout out to them right now. I know they're suffering, so uh, yeah, my thoughts are with you guys. I've definitely got some interest in surfing dungeons uh, when it's bigger. It's just generally that time of year when those swells hit, it can be pretty stormy and bumpy and, and the winds aren't the best. But um, I mean, if there's a clean day out there, I'd love to surf it. Favorite memory about filming for Modern Collective would be uh, probably the last trip uh, that we all took when we went uh, down south coast in Australia. It was kind of everybody involved in the movie that all went on one big trip and um, it was just a lot of fun you know it was really cool to be able to connect with everybody and um, yeah just to enjoy my time in australia a question from lb live fast and die old if they were a cool one um i think i would to be honest i'd, I'd definitely wear one with flames on it and a mohawk and all sorts of <laughs> crazy stuff um yeah when the waves got serious i think that's when i would Do I ever hop on an uh, alternative craft? I do, every now and then. Uh, I've tried boiling a couple times, it's pretty difficult. <laughs> I go with John every once in a while and uh, he's got this electric foil that he lets me go on. But um, I'm really new to the game, so. Uh, but as far as surfboards go, I definitely hop on some older 80s boards, that 70s boards that my dad's made, um, and just kind of take them out and have a bit of fun on them. If I had to change one thing about the sport, um, well, at least in professional surfing right now, I would love for bigger wave pools. That would be pretty nice, personally speaking. If I wasn't a surfer, I'd probably be a shaper, um, since my father's a shaper. Uh, he's a refrigeration technician by trade, and I would have probably started out doing something like that. I get ready for my heat's kind of a little pre-heat warm-up. It'll only take me five minutes maybe, you know, five to seven minutes to be able to warm up. Um, just before I've kind of got that sweat going. And then, uh, yeah, I'm kind of ready to paddle out. I definitely have a little bit of a disadvantage um, when it comes to small waves. Um, and that all depends on who I'm competing against. Uh, obviously being 6'3", 200 pounds, if you're competing against the lead or it's low, um, you just really got to make sure you catch the sets. Yeah, I think uh, my dad's initial reaction to me riding other boards uh, when I first decided to ride them were, was pretty good. You know, we never came from a lot of money. Um, I came straight out of high school and got offered a lot of money from all these other companies. So he encouraged me to be able to go and try other brands. Um, he didn't want me to just kind of be stuck with, with him. You know, he was really noble about the whole situation and um, kind of forced me to go out there and try other things. And um, it's just been amazing to be able to take all the knowledge that I've learned throughout the years and bring it back. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be riding back for him now. And uh, yeah, I'll start to, to re rekindle that fire and um, get the Smith Shape thing going. J Bay with no one out or Pipe with no one out, I would definitely go with Pipe. Yeah, I've had a fair share of surfs with nobody out of J Bay, so I'd like to get a couple at Pipe for sure. My go to Pipe board would be when the waves are pretty decent, I would say 6'6 six, six, um, in length. I would go 19 and an eighth wide and 2 and 5 eighths thick, about 33.7 liters. Uh, what's my favorite maneuver besides the barrel? I would say. 
probably just a really big cog. Just being able to hold that rail for the entire face, um, that's pretty much my favorite thing to do. I have. I'm not too sure what my eyes have seen. Just a whole lot of mullets and piercings and Joe Dirt and <laughs> everything extra. But for the most part, it just kind of looked like a lot of animal cruelty, really. So that was kind of depressing, but um, I have seen it, yeah.